guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you another Christmas video. Hence the Santa hat and looking a wee bit bald. It is a time. But it is Christmas and for all you out there saying that it's not Christmas time yet, have you seen the Coca-Cola advert? Because it is on TV. Therefore, it is Christmas. It is the rule that is the rule. When you see Coca-Cola, Christmas. So today I'm going to share with you my top 10 Christmas movies. These are not in any particular order because I love all of these movies, but I feel like if you haven't seen any of these movies, it's a Christmas crime. It's a Christmas crime. These movies are insane. So without further ado, let's get on with it. First on my list is Scrooge or A Christmas Carol as it's known, but the version that I like the best is the Albert Finney version, the old version. Personally, it is the best one out there. He is, he's, he's grumpy, all right. He's a Scrooge, seriously. If you haven't seen this film, why? To me, Scrooge is the classic Christmas film. He doesn't like Christmas, he doesn't have the Christmas spirit, and then it all gets a bit weird in the middle and he gets invited to places by these three ghosts and taken places, and you kind of think, yeah, if that was happening to me, I'd probably think I was drunk. But by the end of it, he loves Christmas and he gets into the Christmas spirit. And yeah, it's just the classic Christmas movie. So if you haven't watched Scrooge, that's your homework. That, that, go. Second movie on my list is The Polar Express. If you haven't seen The Polar Express, there's the door. This film is such a good Christmas, feel good movie. And it just gets you really, really in the Christmassy spirit. Like, I don't know how his parents don't wake up and hear a big ass train outside. But I mean, he gets to go to the North Pole and see Santa and believe in Christmas. And it's all about Christmas spirit. And as a child, that is literally the one thing that you want to keep going. And it's such a family film and it's just, it's so Christmassy. I love it. Go watch to Polar Express. It's one of the best Christmas films. I promise you, I promise you, you will, you will love it. Next is Elf. Now this is a film that literally everybody loves. It is such a good Christmas film. Oh my God, it is great. Like, I can't even describe it. It's just one of those films that even when it's not Christmas, you will watch. If you haven't seen Elf, there is honestly no hope. It is such a good movie. Like, oh, it's the fact that he's in a place that he doesn't know and he doesn't know kind of what's going on. Like, what to him is normal is not to other people. And then you've got Santa and it's all about trying to like raise Christmas spirit again. And I feel like some people lack in that. So it's such a good film to kind of like get the Christmassy vibe going. And I just love it so much. I think everyone loves Elf. Like, how can you not? Next is The Grinch That Stole Christmas. Now some people either love this film or they hate this film because it all depends. It's a Jim, Car Jim Carrey is the actor and I personally love him. I think he's freaking hilarious. But I love The Grinch. It's such a like a twist on a Christmas film because of the fact that you've got kind of like The Grinch who's trying to take away Christmas rather than getting into the Christmas spirit and yeah, he kind of robs them of Christmas. A little bit mean and I don't know how he doesn't end up on the naughty list by the end of it. I just think it's such a good movie and it's just so funny like the, act the actors and the kind of like the actors that they've got for the film fit so well and it's just such a weird and wacky storyline but works at the same time. I just think he plays the role literally to a T. I absolutely love it so yeah go watch The Grinch. Next is Miracle on 34th Street. Now this is one of my favourite if not my favourite Christmas film. I watch it every single year and honestly I love it. It's the fact that you've got a little girl who doesn't believe in Christmas. I think that's quite hard to find in a Christmas movie because obviously a lot of younger children tend to believe in Santa and believe in Christmas but then you've got this one girl who doesn't and Santa turns out to be real so it's sort of like a twist on the sort of like kids believing in Santa sort of thing. But yeah it's really cool and then Santa gets put in jail so I mean that's not cool but I just love it and it's just it's a twist on like your old sort of like the kid always believes in Santa because this one doesn't. It's different I like it watch that. I prefer like the newer version though, not so much the older version. It depends what you prefer. Next is The Snowman. The Snowman is the classic Christmas film. If you haven't seen The Snowman, there is no hope. What have you been doing with your life? I find The Snowman really really emotional. I find it really sad but I just love it because it's different to having dialogue in a film. There was no dialogue, there was no script in this film. It was literally all just music to tell the emotions of the characters. And I really, really like it. It's so easy to watch and it's just such a Christmassy film because it's the snowman, but it's so sad because he melts and you have to watch it. You have to watch it. No Christmas is complete without Home Alone. I'm sorry, but no Christmas is complete without it. Home Alone is always on at Christmas. 
in fact it's on like all the time but anyways the first one is the best one like I don't know how you could forget your child but they managed it but Macaulay Culkin is just so good in it like seriously and some of the things he comes up with to try and get rid of the robbers like that is so smart and it is so funny like I don't know how those robbers actually survive some of the stuff but it is such a funny film and it's just so good and no Christmas is complete without it literally if you haven't seen Home Alone then your Christmas has never ever been complete I'm sorry it hasn't it's a standard everyone's seen Home Alone then we have the classic Santa Claus movies there's quite a few of these movies but I really really like them because it's very different you've got obviously Santa but then you've got Santa is a normal person sort of and he becomes Santa so he's not Santa he was someone else before if you're catching my drift and in the films there's a lot of stuff that he needs to do to be Santa and to stay Santa and I think that's different to a lot of movies because in a lot of movies you've got Santa and he's just he's Santa he's got the red suit and the beard and the big belly he's Santa but in this film and in these films there's stuff he has to do to stay Santa and to become Santa and I think that's really really cool also the fact that Santa is actually an ordinary person rather than someone that lives like far away because in this one his child can't tell anyone that his dad is Santa and his dad is Santa like what second last film on my list is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer I used to watch this all the time as a kid and if you haven't seen it Rudolph is like, apart from Santa, Rudolph is like the face of Christmas. You not have not heard of Rudolph, you know what I mean? Like he is the reindeer with the red glowing nose. If you haven't seen Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, you need to because it's just, it's really sad in a way and it's really positive in a way. It just depends how you look at it because at the beginning obviously he's different to all of the different reindeers and that's really really sad but then he gets to ride Santa's sleigh and guide it and give presents and it's all ah. It's Rudolph! He is Christmas! He is Santa's sidekick! Together they are Christmas and I love it, like I watch it all the time, it's the best. And final film on my list is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now this is a bit of a controversial kind of film because it's The Nightmare Before Christmas, obviously it's Christmas in the title, but it is quite a creepy sort of Halloween-y film. So you're torn between do I watch it at Christmas or do I watch it at Halloween? This is the life decision we've been trying to make for years. I say watch it at Christmas because it is so different to all of the other Christmas movies. It is a kind of dark, creepy film. And you don't get that with Christmas. You get kind of happiness and presents and Santa rather than Halloween-y kind of characters. So it's a big twist on that. Obviously you get some creepy characters in Scrooge with the ghost, but nothing like the animations of Tim Burton. Like this is something completely different. And Tim Burton is one of my favorite favourite film directors, like honestly some of the films he's come up with, pal, you, you, you nailed it, you've got it all. Yeah, The Nightmare Before Christmas is just so different and you will not find anything like it because I mean I watch it and I'm like, what is actually going on here? But yeah, it's so good. So add that to your list of Christmas films to watch, if it is a Christmas film. Do we class it as? So guys, that was my top 10 Christmas films. They were in no particular order and it is not an exhaustive list. There are so many Christmas films out there. It is hard to choose what to watch. But literally, I'm the kind of person that will watch Christmas films all year round. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you also like these vid if you also like these movies, please let me know. Let me know which one's your favourite. I think my favourite is probably The Miracle on 34th Street or The Polar Express. It's a very, very hard choice. If there's other Christmas films that you love that I haven't mentioned, please let me know. There is a few that I can think of that I haven't mentioned, but I had to pick 10 to make a top 10 video. So please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me. Yeah, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share it. And yeah, that's all I have. But we're getting into the Christmas spirit and we're getting Christmas videos out. I'm gonna do my blog as well, I promise. But yeah, I hope you like it. And until next time, guys, bye.